refresh. And I hope we're live. Cool, there we are. Spot of tea, how are you doing? Nice, nice. As soon as we get our first uh, little chat, I know we're live, so that's good. Hope you're doing well. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, let me give you guys a little intro of what's going on today. And if you've been following our work, uh, you'll know where we are. We're in front of our liqueur cabinet, right? So this is gonna take about uh, five or 10 minutes uh, for people to come in. We are live streaming this, by the way. I'm not recording this with the HD camera. We're uh, sort of going full on live stream right now. Uh, this was sort of a request that was uh, brought about through Discord and uh, uh, the people that are following us on Twitch and some people on YouTube that wanted a sort of a little uh, spring visit to the liqueur cabinet. Uh, we watched the first liqueur video last night. To be awesome, awesome, awesome. And the first liqueur video, uh, for those that might be watching this or will be watching this after the fact, let me bring up uh, this guy here. Boop. Uh, if you go to our liqueur playlist, there's like four videos there where we've um, made previous liqueur videos. Uh, so there's four videos, they're on YouTube and there is a liqueur playlist. Three of the videos I believe are on BitChute. I don't think I was on BitChute. I don't think BitChute was around when we put out our first liqueur video. They might have been around, I'm not so sure, but I wasn't on there anyway. Okay, uh, hell yeah, <laughs> I've had a drink in a month and I'm still excited for the Cure Stream Awesome Dragons. <laughs> Airman, how are you doing? I made the, the computer screen is a little bit further away from me, so I made the text really big so I can read it without the glasses, but we might need the help of this as time progresses. Um, but basically, while we do a little wait and wait until people uh, come onto the live stream, let me give you a little quick rundown of what it is that we're about to do. Hello, Miles, how are you doing? There's uh, basically three things we're gonna do. We're gonna make a couple of new batches, one liqueur and one, here, well, let me show you what it is we're gonna do. Uh, someone mentioned that, uh, uh, well, this one not, but uh, they mentioned kiwis, uh, right? So I peeled some, mandarins and kiwi so we're gonna make a kiwi mandarin liqueur okay i'm looking forward to this one summer's here and uh it's starting out with a bang right so i got a feeling uh, it's going to be very refreshing having this okay so that's one liqueur we're going to make and we're gonna make it's not a cucumber liqueur uh, i've made this before a long time ago and someone in the last few days mentioned, hey, Chicho or asked me, have you ever had made uh, cucumber and lime liqueur? And I've never made cucumber and lime liqueur. I've made cucumber, you take cucumbers, put them in the jar and put vodka in it. The cucumber flavor really gets into the vodka. It's crazy refreshing for summer, hot time, hot time weather, right? So we're gonna make one. I might squeeze a little bit of lemon, lemon in there. I don't have any limes right now, but I might squeeze a little lemon. I'm not 100% sure on that yet. So we're gonna make two liqueurs, specifically summer mood, right? And we gotta go through the liqueur cabinet. We gotta, we're gonna be doing a little taste testing and topping, topping things up. Okay, I ended up going to the liquor store. I wasn't gonna go out uh, uh, shopping uh, because, you know, we are in the midst of a sort of a recommended physical distancing stuff, but we do needed some supplies, food and stuff like that. So I made a little stop at the liquor store, liquor store and got ourselves a 40, 40, 60 ounce. I can't, I don't know what size that is. That's the biggest one they had in that bottle, right? Um, so I thought we'd top things up as well. Okay. And uh, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to switch this one into a smaller jar. I didn't get a chance to go to uh to get pomegranates this is our pomegranate liqueur we made um two years ago now or last year and i was gonna go get pomegranates this year as well but i got taken out with the flu for about a month and a half or so so i didn't get an opportunity when 
the main batch of pomegranates was coming in to do our sort of bulk buying of pomegranates. So we're going to be enjoying that until next fall. Okay. Uh, aside from that, I'm just going to go to chat, uh, just say, say hi to everyone and catch up with the chat. And uh, for those of you watching this stream after the fact, we're going to start making the liqueurs and going through the stuff in about five, 10 minutes. Okay. And uh, if this is after the live stream, uh, I'll provide the timestamp in the description of this video or most likely on the title as well. Okay. Hi, gang. Sorry for the long little intro. And the, by the way, if, uh, if you want to follow our work, um, I do have a Patreon page. So on Patreon, you can follow what we're doing. I do announce the streams um, sort of in batches when we, are, we will be doing streams. I do post the videos on Patreon. I do announce them on Patreon as well as pics of some of the background stuff and some other discussion that we have. Okay, so Patreon is a fantastic way to follow the work. And if you do have the funds, it's a fantastic way to support this project. Okay. Um, we are live streaming this on Twitch. People on Twitch know we're live streaming this on Twitch, but those after the fact on BitChute and YouTube right now, and most likely a third platform coming sooner rather than later. Uh, we are live streaming on Twitch only right now and uploading the videos to the other platforms. Okay. Uh, I do announce the live streams 30 minutes beforehand on Twitter, Gab, Mind, VK, and Elo. Those are the five sort of information sharing platforms that I'm active on. That's sort of a shout out uh, platforms. Uh, just because of our efforts to decentralize, I think it's important uh, because there's a lot of censorship taking place all over the place. Right. And right now we're uploading these to YouTube and BitChute. OK, that's where you can find the live streams after the fact, as well as, you know, I do make edited videos with the lapel mic and stuff and load those on YouTube and BitChute as well. And we are in times of a pandemic and uh, irrelevant of what you think the origins of these things are and what the agenda is. Uh, there's no denying there's something going on. So physical distancing is a good idea to flatten the curve and do not overwhelm your healthcare systems because they're there to save our asses just in case anything goes wrong, right? So a little physical distancing is okay. It gives us the opportunity to do a little social activity like this, right? Going into people's homes and sampling their liqueur cabinets or listening to them play music or what their exercise routine is and people coming online and sharing more and more information, trying to decentralize their whole, whole way of being, right? And that is very, very social. It's just a little bit of physical distancing, which is a good idea to do uh, just in case, just in case, better safe than sorry, right? Aside from that, uh, let me take these down, say hi to chat and uh, we'll start sampling liqueur and making some liqueur. I'm doing this long distance, so I'm trying to squint and take things down. Where's our Twitter one? There it is. Boop. Ch -ch -ch. Hi, gang. How are you guys doing? The, se the setup right now is a little weird because the camera is over here. I set the, the webcam here, so we're only going with one camera right now, one angle. Um, it's just... Uh, Simpler that way from my end right now. Twitching Jason, how are you doing? Simmers, hey Chicho, I'm Alex from YouTube chat. Ah, nice Alex, how you doing? You've been catching the premieres. I've been premiering the videos on YouTube, by the way, and hanging around chat usually and just, uh, you know, talking with people and stuff. Oh, that sounds really interesting. Spot of tea sounds, yeah, this, I'm looking forward to making these, right? The, I think they're going to be delicious. <laughs> very delicious hello chicho great lasagna how are you doing uh, good afternoon catholic traditionalist hello hello afternoon everyone huckleberry win how are you doing metal flu month and a half i don't know whatever it was people that were watching live and watching the videos and stuff i was mentioning that it, i'd never been hit this hard before in my life and it took me out for a while uh after a month and a half, I was at 70% capacity, maybe. What up, Chicho? Nate, how are you doing? Nicholas, Nicholas, what's up? What's up? Uh, can't seem to find the liqueur playlist on YouTube. Oh, here. I grabbed it. Doop. 
This is the playlist on chat. I already copied it. I think that should work. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Spot of Tea. Hey, Chicho. Hey, everyone. Felix, how are you doing? Martin, how's life? Lockdown continues in the UK. Another three weeks. Yeah. Some places is going to continue for a while. And I just watched an interview with uh, someone on uh, regarding India. And uh, it's a very interesting perspective. I shared it on a Discord page. Okay. Uh, I believe I shared it in the COVID-19 folder. Uh, interesting perspective. Lots, uh, lots to be said about that. Doing well, Lasagna. Thank you. Gang, should we do? I'm sort of halfway between needing glasses and I got to make the text even bigger. I'm going to make the text a little bit bigger, gang, just so I can read. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's better. But I did lose where I was. Sleepy waves. How are you doing? I'm scrolling all the way down, gang. Should we start making some liqueur? Let's start making some liqueur. Uh, should we do a couple of samples first? Because I do need to pace myself, right? Or should we make the liqueur? Let's make the liqueurs first. Okay. Let's do this. We're going to make uh, right now. How long are we into the stream? That way I can. Ah, we're about 12 minutes in. Should we wait a couple more minutes? There might be people coming in, right? I don't want them. I don't want people missing the liqueur stream because they've been requesting this big time. Let me pour myself a little sampler. Okay. And this is the one we're going to change up. So it doesn't have very much left in it. So why don't we change this? And then X, how are you doing? Uh, so this is a pomegranate liqueur we made. And there was a fair bit more seeds in this. And we ended up eating it. And this was pretty full. I can't remember where it was. It was here. So we, we went through it speedy ones. I'll stop. So what I'm going to do. Yeah, sealed up. I haven't cracked it open for a while. And when you don't crack it open for a while, what happens is uh, I think it's just the pressure sucks it in. Uh, so you get a nicer seal to a certain degree. So what I'm going to do, I need to transfer this, but let's have a little sample of this first. Ah, your first time here, Tain. Cray 16. Gina, how are you doing? How's life? Apologies if I'm going to miss a lot of chat, because sometimes this gets a little, a little bit delicate because the stuff is piled up and it just goes... Uh, falls down and sends a wave of liqueur coming through okay but chicho i want to make liqueur to have in uh, ready months aside for strawberries what other fruit should i have uh, sleepy waves we're going to go through it and strawberries is crazy delicious a uh, couple of couple of videos ago in the liqueur we made strawberries and we made a batch that was like it was fairly big about three quarters of this and we went through that pretty fast and that was the quickest the strawberries the quickest liqueurs i've ever had like that's um been ready it was ready to be had within two two weeks so let's just put this here and you can you can tell this is very murky right so it's needed uh, it needs new vodka right it needs the uh, alcohol top up and i make mine with vodka i have done we got one here with gin and i made it with gin before but i prefer vodka so good wow that's brilliant uh, i'm going to transfer the seeds into a jar a one liter jar and depending on how much it fills up i might add a little bit of uh, little bit of vodka i probably will because there isn't enough liquid here but the taste on this is absolutely phenomenal really like holy camoles right oh, wow and you get the seed in there as well right very good very good Oof. That is so nice. Wow, let's transfer this over. I tried the strawberry one and it was great and it was um, ready so fast. I was wondering if there is any other fruit that is as ready, just as, nothing that I've tried as ready as fast. 
Okay, sleepy waves. The uh, the cherry is amazing. It takes a little bit longer. I'm guessing the kiwi is going to be faster, but I'm not making straight up kiwi, right? I'm mixing it with tangerines, but I'm guessing the tangerines will be ready pretty fast too. But the quickest is strawberries. I've never had a liqueur ready as quick as strawberries. The pomegranates were not bad, right? This is like pure gold, like really. And I've given liqueurs as presents. I've mentioned this before. Sometimes when we go to housewarmings, when there's potlucks and stuff, you know, you want to take a gift to the to people's homes, right? And I just transfer these into smaller jars and take people a little bit of liqueur. I've done it with lemon a lot and it's, you know, people who appreciate this love it. So if you have friends or family that appreciate the love that is in these things and the time and they like the flavor, then by all means, they're amazing for potlucks too, of course, right? If people ask you, hey, what are you going to bring for the potluck? You say liqueur sampling of liqueurs right why not Here, let's transfer that okay that's good let's put that there so it's going to take off less space which is great and here's our pomegranate so i'm going to fill put a little bit of sugar in this not much it is sweet but as soon as i add the vodka the sweetness is going to be reduced a little bit right so let me do a little bit of adjusting here and I do have a little bit of snacks here as well. So let's crack open. Let me grab a cloth. And we're going to get sticky from this. Okay. And by the way, Chad, if there's anything you want me to uh, see, if directed towards me questions, just put Chicho on it. I've made the text really large, so <laughs> things scrolling past me pretty fast. So if there's a question I haven't answered uh, for a while, if it hasn't been directed towards me, I probably missed it. Okay. Uh, so please feel, feel free to uh, mention it again. Okay. And the fruit in liqueurs really takes on the flavor of the liqueur. A spot of tea. Do you still have the jam liqueur from a couple of years ago? And uh, cinnamon? Oh yeah, for sure. The only, the only liqueurs that I uh, like slowly, you know, bottles go away from the liqueur cabinet. There's three bottles we're gonna remove. These three here we're gonna remove this time. Okay, I haven't got around to them. We tasted them last time. The flavor is gone, right? But the cinnamon one, check this out. We're gonna top this up, and this is murky in the bottom, right? So I'm not gonna shake it, okay? This is amazing gold. I don't drink this often. It's, I consider this to be medicinal more than anything, right? It's good for the tummy, right? But it's absolutely phenomenal, okay? We're gonna taste it, but I'm not 100% sure. And I have another cinnamon on the bottom if we're gonna add any more uh, vodka to it. So what I want to do is I want to add vodka to this guy. Let's crack this open. Initially, we were just going to go through a taste testing, but I was out and about, and it wasn't really a good experience being out and about. Uh, I had already stocked up. As you know, we talked about stocking up. So actually, add, let's add the sugar in this first. And I'm just using organic cane sugar, okay? I got a little measuring cup here. It's just one cup. Chicho, have you ever gotten around to making a coconut? No, I haven't got the coconut liqueur going. I might this year. I think it'd be amazing. Um, I'm just gonna add like I'm not even gonna add that much that's three quarters I'm gonna add 
Not even. I'm just adding like a quarter of a cup. Okay. I might even reduce it depending on how much. Yeah, that's enough. I'm even putting some of it back. Okay. I don't want it to be too sweet. It's already sweet enough. Let's put this guy in there. Right. Let's see. Okay. And I'm just filling it up so we get to the top. Okay, that's all. I'm not going to take it all the way to the top of the thing. I just want the pomegranates to be buried. A coconut liqueur would be absolutely amazing. Maybe we'll this year. Okay. And it's going to be hot enough. We're getting into the summer, so it's going to be hot enough where the sugar is going to melt. Right? Just give it a shake. Make sure the seal is tight. Right? So we can put this one back. Cool. That's our pomegranates. Very nice. I've been meaning to do that for a while. I was going to make a whole new batch this year, but it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Now, let's make the... Dante, how are you doing? Vanilla sounds fun, but expensive. Vanilla, you could get vanilla extract and just infuse it. But vanilla beans, that would be pretty phenomenal. Let's do this. Mandarins and kiwi okay so we're going to transfer this into a jar let's do it into this one okay another one liter jar i'm finding i'm liking making one liter jars uh, they're easy to lift up and manage so i have a fair bit of other larger jars here uh, actually the two liters are pretty good too. <laughs> so uh, I just uh, one liter and two liter I'm finding to be good that uh, 500 mil is not big enough okay. Take a look. like fantastic this is gonna look so good right and the taste should be absolutely brilliant and these are local ki kiwis like on Vancouver Island, which is fantastic. Take a look. Nice. Beautiful color to it, right? Nice. Perfect. We got a little bit left over we can munch on later. Oh, I added too much. We need to make room for... Well, the sugar will go down. Take a look. Right. I'm filling it basically to the top. Now, I'm probably going to add... Well, let's see how much sugar we're going to add to this. Okay, so we got this much left. Nice. I'm okay with that. Now for this, I'm going to add about, yeah, I'm going to add a full cup, okay? So I'm just going full load. That's how much I'm going to add. Yeah, I might increase it later on, but this should be okay because the mandarins were pretty sweet. And the kiwi, some of it, uh, I forget how many there was in here. There was a little bit that was a little bit on the raw side and a couple of them were nice, nicely ripe, right? Nice. And this will settle a little bit, so the fruit will be covered with 
with the vodka. Right, take a look. Doesn't look like there's any liquid, but there is. So I'm gonna close this up and I'm gonna give it a shake. Make sure you close it tight, right? Uh, have I ever made one? Have I ever made one th and decided it was really bad? Um, yeah, but then what did I make? There was uh, we made elderberry liqueur, and we tasted it during one of the live streams, and I didn't like it at all. Like it was, uh, it was, it was. It, it was off right and then we added sugar i believe in that live stream and then six months later a year later we came back to taste it and it was phenomenal and it's really good and it's this one here where is it where is it where is it elderberry oh yeah this guy Take a look. and after we added the sugar and let it sit for about six months i gave it a 10 out of 10. okay and you can tell we drank it all so we're gonna to have to top this up right we do have an elderberry tree in our yard and this is elderberries that we harvested from our yard there's we actually put out a video of uh, me talking about geophysics and taking harvesting the elderberries to make liqueur right so there's a video out there from like three four years ago where we pulled up all the elderberries right it's really amazing color and you know i told you about my life as a geophysicist this is those elderberries right so we will be harvesting some later on this summer right the elderberries but we're gonna have a taste to taste on this see if the flavor is still there if it can take any more vodka okay uh, but we ended up finishing it we just it was amazing like <laughs> seriously uh so i didn't like that one initially and then i loved it uh another one was uh, uh sea buckthorn I found sea buckthorn to be crazy pungent and it is crazy pungent as a liqueur uh, so i don't treat it as uh, well I, I do drink it but not as often and i go to it as a medicinal thing as well uh, you know for tummy if you want to you feel a little heavy and whatnot uh, the elderberry is amazing and i'll show you that one as well So the fruit is cold on this because it was in the fridge. I peeled all the stuff last night. So the jar is cold. As it warms up to room temperature, I'll give it a more of a shake, okay? So this is our kiwi and tangerine liqueur. Let's put that guy, well, let's put it here for now. There's our kiwi and tangerine. Let's do cucumber. Let's do cucumber off topic but what's the sword on the wall sword on the wall is uh Glan glandemir uh gandalf sword it was a replica sword they made when lord of the rings first came out back in 2000 2001 i forget what year it was <laughs> when it came out let's put that there i got a cutting board here we're going to cut the cucumbers okay 2001 cool and uh, it was a family uh, it was for family and it's found its way to me glam glandering glandering thank you spot of tea yeah it's a good sword I love it was the sea buckthorn what you were drinking on stream last week no last week I was drinking what was I drinking last week autumn olive i was drinking all autumn olive i was drinking this guy and the sea buckthorn we harvested from a community garden like five six years seven years ago now and these are autumn olives that we harvested from the neighborhood as well so a lot of this fruit is actually fruit that i picked no i don't know a lot well a few of them i guess so far three of them we talked about is fruit that we harvested and blackberries as we harvested as well and this was amazing so good so good i've given this a rating of nine out of ten check this out i've given a rating of nine out of ten so initially if something you make doesn't it doesn't 
taste as good as you think it should or if you like it let it sit add a little sugar see what happens maybe add is too sweet add a little vodka right so uh, don't because see uh, what do you call it uh, the elderberries were like they weren't good at all and then later on we fixed it up it became a 10 out of 10 right Cucumber and vodka are amazing. I forget who it was that uh, uh, asked me if we had done it or not, if we had made it. Watermelon liqueur tastes amazing, needs very little sugar. Oh, watermelon liqueur. I've never made watermelon liqueur. I don't know why I haven't made watermelon liqueur. Uh, I, I think we'll probably make some melon liqueur this summer. And by the way, uh, I believe it was Sleepy Waves that mentioned uh, if anything gets... Uh, will be ready as fast as strawberries. I'm guessing that uh, watermelon would be ready pretty fast as well. Watermelon, coconut. Coconut, I think, will take a while for it to get ready. Right? And you want to cut them in these things. I cut them like this. Okay. You can also shred them, but... And these are baby cucumbers. I find baby cucumbers is best. Okay. Here, let's put these guys in here. With cucumbers, I couldn't cut them early, right? Because they... Right? And we're just gonna add vodka to it. Now, I want to make sure we save some vodka uh, for topping up some of the other liqueurs. So we're not going to use it all. Well, for these ones, we're going to cover them for sure. And we're not going to add sugar to this. This is more going to be uh, just cucumber infused. And it's fantastic, fantastic, uh, very refreshing for the summer. And I'm going to pack it in as tight as I can, right? So take a look. So I'm going to keep this on its side. That way it's as tight as possible. Did I cut off the ends? Oh, I didn't cut off the ends of the other guys. Oh, well. Oh, well. That knife is definitely fit for a purpose. Yeah, I sharpened it after the cooking stream. Uh, we did uh, last month, I believe. Someone asked me when the last time it was that I, that this knife was sharpened, and I mentioned that I hadn't sharpened it for a while, but I didn't feel like sharpening it during the stream. So after the stream, I sharpened it. And yeah, much, much nicer, right? Much, much nicer. Right. It could be a little bit sharper, but I don't want my knife to be like sushi sharp. It's... Uh, I find I do use my fingers uh, when I do things, when I cook. So I don't want, uh, I need a certain pressure to be put on it, right? It just makes me more comfortable, just in case I do a little slip or something like that. I don't usually cut myself, so uh, I don't wanna start accidentally doing You remember that Mar uh, Martin? Yeah, I was like, yeah, I need to sharpen the knife. Sometimes it's just we become too lazy, right? We don't keep our equipment sharp, as sharp as it should be. So many cucumbers. Just fill it up, right? Take a look. So I'm just stacking them inside. Make it tight, make it tight. One more we can do. We can do one more. Why not? You'll take one more. And what happens is I fill it up uh, with fruit a lot because that way you take less alcohol. Um, so, and then the flavor goes in more. So it's a stronger flavor. And if I, you know, 
if I want to refill it, I like the flavor, there's enough essence of the fruit or the vegetables left. So you can get multiple fills from it, right? But at some point, you're going to have to re replenish the fruit. We just get rid of it because the essence is gone. Nice. Come on. Look at this guy doesn't want to go down. This looks phenomenal. Let's fill it up. Let's fill it up. So we don't need this anymore. The cutting board. I'm just going to go put it out of our way. Make some room for ourselves. And bring this guy back. Just in case we need it. We might not need it. We might get rid of it. The plate anyway. Because I don't think I'm going to be adding too much sugar to anything. I usually mainly use the plate when I'm adding sugar to things. Because if you get a little bit of sugar splish, it's a pain to clean up. Right? And things get sticky and stuff. So we got, you know, 60% of 1.75 liters. Okay. So 60% of 1.7 liters, we use 40% of 1.75 liters of vodka to top up this one and make two one liter liqueurs of fruit, right? And this looks amazing, look at this. Right? Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. There's a little bit up top that's sticking out, but that's okay. Once we take a couple of cucumbers out, it'll settle, settle down. No sugar with cucumber. I've never done it with sugar, and I don't, you know, I have enough, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go grab a small jar, cut up another cucumber, add a little sugar with the cucumber. And just to see what the sugar is like, because I've never made it with sugar, with cucumber. I've just made it with cucumber, right? So this is what we got so far, right? Nice. Nice. Let's put this guy here. Yeah, let's do, who was that? A spot of tea. You're right. Let's make one with a little bit of sugar and see what it's like. Okay, I'll be right back. sugar I said no don't make it with 500 uh, mil but let's make it with 500 mil experiments why not right you don't want to waste all the fruit and all the vodka right so for experiments why not let's make them uh, what do you call it in smaller so we take the plate back we bring the back the cutting board right what happens eh? when you put something away you know you're gonna need it right away again right so let's do how many is that gonna take let's check it out these are a little bit too long for this right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut these in half so we're only gonna make a half uh, the 500 mil so 250 mil that way we're not uh, we're not gonna waste vodka if it doesn't taste good I think it should taste good I didn't put lemon in this, by the way. The smell of the, the cucumber was amazing, so I don't wanna add the lemon in there. We already have a gigantic lemon liqueur. So what we can do is just cut these. 
long, right? And then cut them in half. Why not? If you're a cucumber eater, uh, one recipe that I, I believe I've shown you guys when it comes to just snacks, refreshing snacks, uh, yogurt with cucumbers chopped up and mulberries or uh, raisins or something sweet. Mulberries works really phenomenal or raisins uh, and mint, dried mint. Absolutely brilliant with a little bit of salt as well. Okay, let's add two more. And then we'll add the sugar. Why not? Why not spotted tea? All right. Let's do this. We need to have a sip of something. Sample something. After this, this is our last new batch of liqueur we're going to make. And the rest we're just going to sample and top up either with sugar or uh, vodka, right? So might as well make our two new batches. Let's do this. Mulberries, uh, Persian stores. Persian mulberries, uh, they go together. Oh, I cut up too many. Oh, well. Should we do the whole thing? Let's do the whole thing. Actually, I'll keep a little bit of the cucumbers. They're really delicious cucumbers. All right. So we got this much. Okay. Three quarters of 500 mil. So let's bring out the plate again. And I have, uh, as snacks, by the way, I have some apples here. Okay. So apples and cucumbers, nice. Nice summer, spring snack. We got a little bit of chocolate here. Chocolate and liqueur, why not, right? And I got some crackers and cheese. And crackers and cheese with liqueur, wine, why not, right? Fruit, chocolate, and crackers and cheese with, oops, alcohol liqueur is really nice. Let's bring the plate back. We're going to add some sugar. Chocolate and coffee. Yeah, you look forward to hearing from it. Yeah, hopefully it'll be good. Let's check it out. How much sugar should we add? I'm just going to add half a cup. Okay. Now let's add half a cup. Let's add slowly. Yeah. Let's take a look. No, let's add the whole half a cup. We had spillage. That's a lot of sugar. <laughs> let's make it sweet. Right? That's a fair bit of sugar, right? But either way, it's okay. We had a little spillage of sugar here. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do this. Do this. And then I'm going to go dump the sugar into the sink so it doesn't spill everywhere but before we do that let's do this that's good let's check it out where is the lid for this there you go And coffee liqueur would be amazing. Got to make some coffee liqueur. It should be pretty easy to make. Just get some coffee beans that you like and put a little sugar or honey or maple syrup even. Right. 
That looks great. Looks great. Could you make a tea like here? I don't know. I don't know if uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you could. I've never tried personally, which is weird because I love tea. Right? <laughs> I love my tea. If anybody makes some tea liqueur, please, uh, please let us know how it goes. Let's put okay. Let's put leave this guy here for now until we make some more room. Let me dump this in here. Dumped in the cucumber, uh, cucumber thing we had. We used up all those cucumbers that we saw at the beginning, right? So it's just two cucumbers left. Cool. That's that. Now we need to start sampling some of these liqueurs, right? Hey, Chicho, lonely piggy. Uh, just got home from a fantastic shift at work, and what better way? <laughs> to relax <laughs> that was your uh, stream awesome lonely piggy i hope you enjoy and uh, thank you for what you're doing lonely piggy works in a old uh, uh what do you call it uh senior center right uh important lots of stress there it's whiskey technically with liqueur i believe so do you need to flavor it right how's the pineapple we're gonna taste the pineapple one <laughs> i've been drinking it or we did and then we, we started drinking it really fast actually pineapple uh, got ready pretty fast as well okay let's put our tanks away here's our tanks so let's hit it up from this side and go this way okay gang? blackberry blueberry i gave this a seven out of ten before right so i'm going to taste a little bit my scrawny writing, seven out of 10. And we need to give it a wipe. These things are, uh, let me break this out. Boop. I'm just gonna wet this a little bit. Okay. I got a little bowl of water here. Just a little bowl of water. just in case we get all sticky. And I do want to wipe these down, so. When you wipe them down, it prevents them from getting, getting that build up, right? Come on. I haven't opened this one for a while. Let's put that guy there. This is going to be strong, strong, strong. I don't know if I'm going to add more vodka to this. I think this is going to be crazy strong. And I don't know if I'm going to like, like the flavor. Very syrupy. Look at that. It's got a lot of, a lot of flavor still left in it. Let's make sure we like the flavor. murky look at that this would be amazing on uh, ice cream right? amazing on ice cream Whew. it would be amazing on ice cream <laughs> really yeah it'd be fantastic on ice cream i got a whole bunch of glasses here by the way so i'm going to go through them slowly and if we run out we'll use more i'm not going to add anything to this I think we're just going to consume this uh, with ice cream and stuff. So we'll make a little note. I should bring a pen out here. I'm going to try some of the pulp on it. See if the pulp is... Uh, the pulp is strong usually, so... Hmm. It's got the season, so I wouldn't put the pulp on there. I'm going to let this one go slowly. So basically, just going to use this for ice cream. Or if you need a serious kick. So let me go grab. Should have done a little bit be better prep. 
Uh, I'm gonna grab some tape so I can tape this on. I'm gonna a pen so I can put ice cream on here. We got things pretty close, so let's do this. Ice cream. Cool. So nothing needed to be done for this. Blackberry. This is phenomenal. This is the batch we made last year. Look at the color on that. Right. This was so delicious. So delicious. Okay, I got the glasses here, so they're clinging together. Let's put our thing here. Let's check it out. Oh, this smells so good, so good. Let me take a little sip of water. <laughs> Gina, the sampling stream. I love the food and drink. I love the food and drink. Let's do. Let's do. Nah, let's do. Let's do these ones. I love these are shot glasses that friends, friend the family gave to me. So. game we're playing here I might not do it this close to the camera when we get a little further down the road okay just to be on the safe side oh, I shouldn't have closed it tight because we're gonna taste it first see if it needs anything I'm pretty sure we're gonna top this up with vodka a little bit look at that Oh my God, <laughs> so good. Oh, this is why I went through it so fast. It tastes like candy. Oh, tangy candy, amazing. I don't wanna mess with it. I can't mess with it, it's too good. Even though I'm gonna, you know, We'll be adding more to this once the liquid disappears, right? But this flavor of the liquid right now, we got enough to get at least two rounds of nice sampling out of this, right? So I don't wanna taint the flavor here. So when you hit liqueur that you love the flavor, right? If there's enough liquid in there that you can still enjoy it a couple of more times, don't top it up. Wait until it depletes and then top it up, right? Because you're gonna lose that flavor. I don't wanna lose this flavor. This is 10 out of 10. And this was five pound bucket blackberry, 2019, we made it in August, 1.5 cups of sugar, okay? Uh, quarter, uh, a quarter of a 175 uh, liter vodka. So we put it about 15 ounces. This is a note we made. And we made this during a live stream, right? So this is 10 out of 10. This is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. So if you wanna make, and blackberries matter, we picked these blackberries. So I'm gonna put 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Okay, this guy goes back. Oh, did we give it a wipe? We didn't give it a wipe, let's give it a wipe. It's clean, but always give it a wipe. Chicho, would powdered cinnamon work? I have, should, but you're gonna have to let it settle, the powdered cinnamon. I've never used, so I guess it depends how powdery it is, right? You don't want to, to make the alcohol all um, cloudy, right? So maybe when you're pouring, you're gonna have to use a really tight sieve to get rid of the cinnamon.
Cornelian cherries. This was phenomenal. And I picked this from a local uh, tree as well at a park. Okay. It's the only Cornelian cherry uh, tree that I found in this city, Victoria. We knew of uh, three Cornelian cherries in Vancouver, but they were being raided. So this one, no one knows about. So I was able to get a couple of buckets of Cornelian cherries from this tree and it's phenomenal liqueur. Okay. I think I'm going to add to this, but we'll find out. Let's have a flavor. Let's use red. Let's use red. at this one hmm. just have a piece of paper on it it didn't we didn't make any notes on this one take a look rest in peace <laughs> legendary rock i don't do this often oh wow i'm not gonna touch this so deliciously tangy. Oh my God. Uh, so good. Yeah, we're not going to touch this. This is 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Where is our... stickies 10 out of 10 big fat 10 out of 10 and i know exactly what it is right right 10 out of 10. two in a row gina yeah these are the batches uh we made these last year as well right and usually liqueurs uh, once you've made a certain type of liqueur uh, you learn it well right so in general you're pretty good at uh off the bat making them good i should top this up a little bit just to cover up the cornelian cherries you know what let's top it up a little bit just a touch okay at least make sure they're covered with vodka but i'm not going to add any sugar to it That's not going to affect the flavor that much. And we're going to give it a shake. And then it's just gonna settle, right? That's good enough. Cool. Very good, very good. Here's our pineapple, take a look. I think it was Spot of Tea that asked about the pineapple, right? Yum, yum. Let's taste this. Now, before we taste this, it's a good idea if you're doing a little bit of sampling uh, crackers and cheese something fatty be good to the tummy yeah spectral shot spectral shot we made strawberry it was phenomenal went through it crazy fast And it's old fort cheese, cheddar cheese that. Okay. 
a look. It was 2019, and only one cup of sugar in this. Okay. So I think in a cucumber, we put way too much. And this guy, right? Take a look, and there's a little bit of sugar at the bottom. I'm not gonna bother mixing it. I'll just leave this the way it is and sample it later. And if it's sweet enough, I won't bother shaking it. This was phenomenal, by the way, right? And you can definitely eat the pineapples as well. We've munched on some of the pineapples, so. Yeah. Delicious. Oh, so good. Let's cleanse the palate. Cornelian cherry is amazing, Cheryl. But I love sour cherries and whiskey. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, that is super delicious. Super delicious. I'm just going to top it up with vodka. And I'm going to start taking smaller samples. This is nine out of 10, 10 out of 10. Like it really depends if you like pineapples or if you don't, right? Take larger samples for the contest. <laughs> this is 10 out of 10 too. This is phenomenal. 10 out of 10. And went to a potluck at the beginning of the year. Uh, and I took five sample, I believe five of these liqueurs, just sample little jars of them and people love them. They thought it was amazing. What else we got? Oh, we didn't wipe this one down. It's okay, that one doesn't need wiping down. I'm not gonna sample the little guy. What is this? This is a September 12th gin blackberry, right? Now I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna mix my gin and vodka right now. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep this here. I just keep this usually if someone, you know, we have friends over and, you know, we do a little taste testing of the cures i ask him if you know they prefer gin i got a little bit of gin but this is almost done i'm not going to make any more gin so in general at my house you want the cure is vodka based it becomes too complicated managing two different spirits so let's put this one back okay, let's put these guys back Okay, this is Blackberry, and I gave it a rating of 7 out of 10. Now, we're going to sample it. Let's crack it open and see. See if we feel like sampling it right now. <laughs> Great lasagna. <laughs> Hilarious. Mm, yeah, I'm not going to taste this right now. I'm going to let the flavors of the... The liqueur we've tried just let it linger for a while because they were amazing i don't want to mix it up with too much uh different flavor i just know i haven't touched this right? we'll mess around with it later what's this guy oh look at the color on this one uh, added sugar 2018 blackberry and blueberry strong 2016 right so added sugar so i made this in 2016 okay and we added sugar in 2018 i believe we did that during the live stream okay. do you have a cliff's channel in discord i don't think we've made one uh, gina that's a good idea we've, we don't have a cliff's channel that's a great idea Gina. if you send a reminder either me or one of the mods will make 
That way we can remember some of the things that we're saying. Oh, yeah, a spot of tea says. Yeah. VC, how are you doing? Oh, look at the color on this. Oh, my God. This is brilliant. This isn't blackberry and blueberry. Nice. This is the, um, what do you call it? Elderberry. This is the other jar of elderberry we made. Oh, I mislabeled this. <gasps> look at this. 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 <laughs> Plot twist. Oh my God, that smells so amazing. So amazing. Okay, I've used up these ones. I'm going to put the, the glasses, the shot glasses that we use to one side. Just because... I don't want the flavors to mix too much. I think we use this one too. Oh no, that was a purple we used. We used this guy. We're going to use this guy now. Oh my God, this sounds, smells like phenomenal. Look at this. Look at the color on this. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 my God. I have friends, if I give them this, they'll flip. They'll just go, wow. Wow, that, it, it actually tastes very medicinal, which elderberries are. Yeah, take a look. These are the elderberries. Look at this, right? Phenomenal, absolutely beautiful. Let's put this guy here. We gotta correct this. I can't believe in 2018 I tasted it. I didn't like it. We added sugar. It's the same deal as the previous one. So this isn't. Let's make it fresh. Fresh sticky. Strong. Strong indeed, right? Added sugar in 2018. Made it in 2016, right? Where is it? 2016. 9 out of 10, but it's a 10 out of 10. So this is uh, 2016. Added sugar to 18 elder berry strong 10 out of 10. As you age them, they became the flavor just grows and grows. Phenomenal. Let's put that guy. We might be here a while. <laughs> Chicho, the Cliffs channel now exists under General. Let me know uh, if you want it. So, no, under General is great because I guess we'll cover everything for Cliffs. Why not? Thanks, Spot of Tea. That's awesome. Spider Man, how you doing? Check it out. Awesome. So, this was the other elderberry. This guy, right? Check it out. This is the other elderberry. And this is, check this out. I corrected this one before. I called this one blackberry and blueberry and then changed it to elderberry. So it's the same deal as the other one. I called this one 10 out of 10, right? So we're gonna sample this one as well. And probably add vodka to it. We're gonna probably add vodka to it. Wow, 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 the smell. Once you make it, you'll, you won't forget the smell of the elderberry liqueur. It's magic. I'm gonna have a little bit of cheese and cracker. That was really good. Oof. Right. 
we had the elderberry in this so We just need a little get little bit off this one. Oh, let me cleanse my palate. <laughs> Utah. All you got is be this has taken me a long time. This is years of effort. Years of just making, making, growing. I don't know, growing, but letting it sit and the collection is growing anyway. So it takes time. It takes time. Absolutely phenomenal. I need to add vodka. I really don't want to, but I need to. There's enough to get a little bit out of that. But I don't want the top to, because the top is sitting outside of vodka. So I'm going to add a little bit of vodka. Okay. Just to cover it up. There. Good enough. Right. There's a couple of things. I think these are leaves in there. Let's check it out. A couple of elderberry leaves that have been marinating in there. So let me put these in. And this. Let's put the cucumber over here. Get it out of our hair. Let's take the leaf out. stem I don't know I think the stems poisonous so hopefully it wasn't the stem I'm gonna give it a wipe I'm gonna keep the same sticky on there just as a reminder that I forgot to label these correctly Chicho you're taking so many shots Wow is it uh, yeah maybe just just sampling right and they're little they're not full shots right wait so you can't just let the fruit stick out uh you can you can really i've had fruit stick out but because i go through it every now and then uh sometimes i just top it up right because when it sticks out it gets hit with oxygen right it gets hit with oxygen there's a little bit of leakage here Oh yeah, I need to tighten that up. So I'm gonna go wash my hands after this. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna go wash my hands right now. I'll be back in one minute. Not one minute. Five seconds. Yeah, I think so because it's got sugar and, but you know, it is basically vodka. So has been hoarding all the mason jars. Oh, mason jars are going to be in high demand this summer. Uh, and we've talked about when certain other things uh, where you need to do prep for what's happening right now. Uh, this summer, if you're into making preserves and stuff, get yourself your mason jars so you can start making the preserves and stuff early on right and i recommend doing so personally what have we got what have we got oh yeah autumn olive autumn olive i've already tasted we did during the live stream so i'm not going to taste it Okay, ferment as a sauerkraut. Yeah, sauerkraut. 
Now, I'm not going to taste this one because I know exactly what it tastes like because I've been sampling it. Should we knock okay, it? Let's see. Let's taste it. Let's taste it. Very little. Very little. Very little. I think I might have added a little bit of vodka to this. So if we did, and if it's not sweet enough, I might add uh, some sugar. But my first try at fermenting raw potatoes failed. Oh, wow. Have you ever uh, tried fermenting raw sweet? No, I haven't, Legendary Raw Boss. Potatoes are so abundant that we can just get them anywhere, right? I've never made potatoes. Uh, tomatoes, yeah. Tomato uh, pickles and stuff. Yeah, so good. So good. Yeah, that's so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> We're going to leave this alone. I'm not gonna mess with this. Alright. I'm not gonna mess. And you can tell, take a look at this. The top part is more, I think, some of the stuff that's oxygenated, like oxygen has gotten to it, so it gets darker. The bottom is just preserved. That's the color you get off autumn olives when you pick them, right? So it's just preserved. Less oxygen, less, uh, what do you call it? Um, I don't know what the word is called. Deterioration, I guess, aging. Oh, this baby, this baby. Did I put 10 out of 10 on that one? Uh, autumn olive, we have nine out of 10, which is fine. Nine out of 10, 10 out of 10. Plum added sugar, August, 2019. And I called this a 10 out of 10. Uh, so far this side is <laughs> is where you want to be at right nine out of ten ten out of ten so let's check this out ooh, ooh, ooh. delicious we're gonna have a cracker oxidation oxidation thank you very much dark ru ruler whiz Utah Jazz, yeah, sweet tasting booze is both good and bad. It sneaks up on you because it doesn't feel like you're drinking alcohol at a certain point, yeah. And that's why. A lot of people who are avid alcohol aficionados uh, which I don't recommend, by the way, you destroy your body. Uh, they tend to stay away from sweet drinks because, first of all, you get hangover. Second of all, you don't know uh, how much you're drinking. And also, it's... Um, check this out. It's, uh, it's not as healthy. This is the crab apple, right? Ah, uh, this is a plum. Plum. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. We're not going to touch that. We're not going to touch that. And. You can eat the fruit on this, but I just don't feel like eating the fruit right now. I just feel like sampling the liqueurs, right? Now we've eaten uh, the fruits out of this before on previous streams. And it's got enough alcohol on there, so it's covered. So we're okay, right? Lots of reserve stroll. Reserve stroll. Stay staying healthy and getting weight. <laughs> Give it a wipe. As soon as uh, this physical distancing is over, uh, we're gonna invite some people over and have a liqueur party.
here's another plum and this is uh, the seeds from plum jam and this is good for ice cream dessert ice cream 10 out of 10 so that's what i listed here right ice cream so this is another one that's 10 out of 10 for ice cream we're not going to sample it it's very thick but it would go it well it would go it goes amazing with chocolate like we've had right it's phenomenal for chocolate with chocolate so we've got two liqueurs here that are very much ice cream so i'm going to put them together okay let's see if i'm going to move this guy over good stuff so i have our two ice cream liqueurs over there so if we want to mix with ice cream we know where they are right that way i don't have to stand on top of it and look around to see which one has the ice cream label on it saucy rossi how are you doing hope you're doing well hope you're having some fine snacks and drinks and just enjoying this thursday afternoon we've gone all the way to here right halfway let's do doop. and we're not gonna touch these ones I mean look at this like, look at what we added to our liqueur collection look at what we added to our liqueur collection this isn't liqueur it's infused I guess but this one is right Chisho you absolutely must read Wolfram physics project I, I know Wolfram I use Wolfram Alpha uh, but I don't know what his latest physics project is. I don't like uh, the only thing I don't like about Wolfram is he's putting copyright and all this stuff on it. Last I checked, anyway. So if he uses software, he has. It's not. I don't know if it's open source or not, to the truth. But I could be mistaken. Uh, so double check on that. Mandarin and kiwi. Yeah, lonely piggy. Mandarin and kiwi. And the little one, and the little one. And this is cucumber as well, but we added sugar to this one as well. Okay. So we're gonna see what the sh what cucumber liqueur tastes like, right? Because this one is liqueur. And the beauty of it is, if the sweet cucumber liqueur, like the cucumber liqueur, tastes good, we can just add sugar to this guy, right? This is del <laughs> delicious crab apple. I put eight out of 10 on this one and I called it delicious. My crappy writing. Let's crack it open. Oh yeah. Yeah, this would be delicious. Here, let's bring out one of these guys. Let's do a little sampling. It's a little murky, so I think a little bit of vodka to top it up. You know what? The plants in your house are awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, do you have a lot of... Uh, gnats because of the no not really we do we go through problems of sometimes we get hit with bugs and stuff and we isolate decontaminate trim so we maintain right i really like that desk maybe i should call it the mini bar the mini, i know i don't know what do you call these things i call it my liqueur cabinet strong strong we need to add strong on here we're gonna fill it up we're gonna top it up let's top it up let's cover it up because the flavor is great but it is strong so i'm gonna add a note strong and that's one good thing with uh with going through this on a regular basis 
going through a liqueur cabinet with a regular basis, uh, you can change the description of them. Man, some of the color on those is amazing. Yeah. And this is very murky. I mean, you can tell it's very murky, right? So this one is almost, almost an ice cream liqueur, right? So you know what? Well, I can't move it over, but I'm going to put ice cream on here as well. And I rate it 8 out of 10. I'm going to keep it at 8 out of 10 as well. Ice cream. We'll just leave it as 8 out of 10. And let it settle. Oh, 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 look at this one. We're talking about oxidation. Take a look. Here's oxidation, right? All right? Crazy. Beautiful. Beautiful. Chicho, is the vodka use 40% alcohol? But yeah, it's 40%. Uh, you touch ass. Or is it strong? No. I've, we've made some that's stronger. That's uh, it's 200, no, 150 proof or whatever it is. But that one is more of a tincture. It's, it's too strong to drink, right? And we made it with sea buckthorn because it's medicinal. So you can use droplets under your tongue. 40% uh, is sufficient. That's strong enough, like really. Uh, Chicho, after shot num number 10, I feel a tingling in my fingers. I think it's beginning to affect me, Martin. Hey, guys. Envious, how are you doing? Is your grandfather one still here? Yeah. Yeah. And I took uh, one of my grandfather's one. It's basically, it's become paste, uh, sort of cherry paste, and it's in the fridge. Okay. So that one, I grab a spoonful every now and then. I just eat a spoonful is precious all right so with very very little uh sampling yeah and the seed one's still here 40 plus years all right Ooh. <laughs> oops this is seven and a half out of ten. Oh, we poured a heavy one with a seven and a half rating. We could pour it back. This is a fresh glass, right? Uh, crab apple, more time needed. Added sugar, one cup, 2018. Okay. So I'm going to pour a little bit back because this is a fresh cup. We haven't used the green one yet. We just want to sample it. Okay. That's enough sampling. Right. Check it out. Beautiful color, beautiful color. Let's check it out. The chat for some reason paused, so I'm gonna go down. Oh, wow. Yeah, the sugar did it. Delicious delicious this is not seven and a half this is a nine out of ten a nine out of ten beautiful yeah it looks like amazing just like crisp whiskey right nine out of ten that was phenomenal nine out of ten not seven feeling warm And the crab apples we picked as well, right? Crab apple down. Cherry. Take a look at the cherry. This was amazing. We made the video making the cherry liqueur, right? I want to pop a cracker and cheese. Eat this from frozen cherries. Frozen cherries, one cup sugar, um, half a 26er of vodka. So 
13 ounces of vodka went initially into this. And as you can tell, um, we've been sampling. <laughs> we actually haven't had any for a long time. Eight. What crackers? Uh, I don't know the names, but they're really good. They're like, it's, I would look at the package, but what we ended up doing, because when we're doing shopping, we're, whatever we're bringing in with packaging, we're transferring it over to Ziploc bags or containers and stuff and throwing the packaging away or washing everything, right? With crackers and stuff, we just get rid of the packaging, right? Um, so I forget which ones they are. Uh, ginger and black tea. Okay. It's aged well, 20% increase in quality. <laughs> nice. From seven and a half to nine. Awesome. Yeah, it's aged well. Aged fantastic. So, let's bring another one. I got a whole bunch of shot glasses here, by the way. Two, three sets. So. I'm pretty sure we're going to top this up. I'm gonna eat one of the cherries. Take a look. Right. Oh yeah. Should we add? Should we add? Should we add? We're not gonna add sugar. But should we top it up? I think we'll top it up. Saucy Rossi, um, your question, what made me decide to start making my own liqueurs? My grandfather. Just in the family, through generations, liqueur has been something that our family has been making. It's just passed down from generation to generation. And I'm just passing it down, right? No, uh, but basically my grandfather. I learned it from my grandfather, my mother, and my father, right? We're going to top this up a little bit. That being said, uh, no one would as hardcore as, <laughs> as I am. I sort of kicked it up a notch, right? They used to have one, two, three jars of liqueur, just maybe three, just for sampling special occasions and whatnot. I guess I just end up having more special occasions, maybe. Yeah, and that's one of the responsibilities we have as, uh, you know, future generate our previous generations is to learn from them. And if we like something about what they've done is to include it into our lives. And if we can't kick it up a notch, right? <laughs> you got a vodka bottle. No messing around, envious. <laughs> I'm just gonna mix it. That's it. Make sure it's sealed. I didn't add too much. I like the flavor, so I'm not gonna mess with it. And we're not hurting for liqueurs, right? So if this thing runs low, we can just fill it up slowly. I don't want to mess around with the flavor too much. And this thing was nine out of ten easy. We'll give it a nine out of ten. The cherry flavor isn't as strong as uh, initially, like uh, when we first made it on with the first cycle through. I think the cherry is the second cycle through. Blueberry. We made the blueberry as well at the same time as we made the cherry and the strawberry. The strawberry finished. We ate all the strawberries. It was over, right? Blueberry. Blueberry 2000 or a 
could be all the sampling we've done. No, I haven't cracked this open for a while. Uh, plant care, possibly. Uh, maybe we do this summer. But plant care, the kicker with doing plant care is when I'm doing plant care, I'm getting dirty and stuff, right? So doing a stream becomes a little bit more difficult. But uh, maybe we do. Ooh, 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 ooh. This thing has been pressurized. Let's check it out. Oh, that's too big. Oh, spillage, spillage. I'll have to remember. Then using one piece of paper for the ratings. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> it becomes too complicated. My my liqueur collection is like my comic book collection or randomized. <laughs> right. We're lucky. Today we organized it. We put the liqueur, uh the ice cream liqueurs over there. Actually we have one more here, so still randomized, right? This is blueberry. It's very murky. If it has the flavor, I'm gonna add vodka. Beautiful. Oh, wow, beautiful, beautiful. Oof, oof, oof. Very beautiful. Let's see. I'm just gonna add a little bit, right? Just to fill up the blueberries a little bit more. Beautiful. You can tell it's not much, right? No driving for Chicho for a few hours. Not that I'm going anywhere, <laughs> right? <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Without a doubt, 10 out of 10. So good, so good. Let's give this guy a little wipe. By the way, gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Sorry if I've missed any of them. And I know I have missed the follows. Uh, appreciate them. So this guy goes here. Has a spot of tea, my grandfather's. So good. Gravy BBY. We're uh, making liqueurs. Well, we're sampling liqueurs right now. I don't know much about uh, what vodka uh, is absolutely a good one. I, I like absolute envious. Uh, I only know Grey Goose. Grey Goose is good uh, as an expensive one. Grey Goose used to be more expensive, uh, but can't mess with this. Okay. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at the resininess of that. Take a look. When you drink wine, they say the legs of the wine, right? Look at this. I guess for liqueurs, it's the resininess of it. And this thing goes amazing with ice cream, but you don't pollute the taste of this with ice cream. This is pure, pure brilliance. <laughs> heaven heaven i wish i could get you guys to taste this look at that all right and you can you start it now cherry seeds in 40 years time you can have a sample actually in 20 years time you will look at that 
basically everything goes well with ice cream yeah Forty years, forty years, saucy Rossi. Forty years. Grandfather, thank you, grandfather. I'm gonna close this. Nice. We're gonna give it a wipe. No messing around. How has the flip strongly become stronger? Like it's more pronounced in large part, right? Yeah. Cherry sees grandfather 10 out of 10. This is the same deal, right? But a bigger jar. It, both of these were in a different jar, so I transfer them into this and that. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put the label back on the other one, right? Grandfather. So let's put this one back. Let's cover it up. We're not going to taste this. It tastes the same as that. Right? Take a look. It's very resiny, murky. Okay. And it's, here, I'll bring it out so you see the seeds. That's called a quantum, and that's like a quantum entangled liqueur to the time your grand, grandpa was alive. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. Take a look. Check. Yeah, tastes the same. Phenomenal. And we're not going to mess with it. That's good. Cinnamon. 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 I think this is cinnamon. Okay. So let's put these here. Let me put the label of the cherry up top. Very nice cracker. We'll sample both of them. Okay. Does your ratio sugar alcohol change based on infusion? For sure. Yeah. Gravy boy, what I do. What we did for the pineapple, the cornelian cherry, and the blackberry, right? But depending on, you know, sometimes the... Absolutely beautiful. Very nice. So strong. So strong like crazy strong Oof. that is the strongest one we've tasted without a doubt like huge right so even even what i poured is too much okay even what i poured is too much We're not going to touch it. Whew. Medicinal. Straight up. Right? Here, let's leave this here because I'm going to taste this one as well. Are you still planning to test out the voice channel after? For sure, Spotted T, we do. You guys have to run me through it, by the way, of how I'm supposed to, you know, what I need to do. Do you mean strong vodka taste or strong fruit taste? Strong vodka taste. When I say strong, strong vodka taste. Okay. In general, in general. My glasses right here, sleepy webs. I just made the chat, the I'm 
the screen bigger. Oh, this tastes like candy. Look at that. Look at that. Those are cinnamon sticks. Okay. And this is uh, for the applesauce that we made. So we're going to sample this. I don't think this is going to be strong vodka flavor. I think this is going to be strong apple cinnamon flavor. Okay. I still don't get what actually needs uh, testing, but yeah, I'm available. Yeah, people want to chat, we chat uh, for a short little bit. It's really nice and sunny. After this, I need to go for a walk. <laughs> okay. That's unique. We do, this is the first uh, one we have like this color, I think. So red. Look at that. Like years ago, right? It's pale in comparison, right? Like literally, it's pale, right? So the flavor of it was completely gone. Chicho, when are you uh, going to teach us how to cook some traditional Iranian cuisine? I will, legendary raw boss. Maybe this summer, but this summer, I think we're going to do a lot of cooks where we're doing a lot of preserves to prep for the coming fall winter. Have you ever tried making Amari up? Okay, that's it. Like not much, it was nothing. And top it up, let's do it. In general, no. In general, no. Uh, because that way, if you add more fresh fruit, if I'm gonna...